Yo, what's up? Welcome to Kind of Funny First Impressions. I'm one of your hosts, Blessing Adioye Jr. And joining me, of course, is Greg Miller. Sometimes, Blessing, love wins. Oh, yeah. And today is one of those days. Is this, is this a love affair? This that is you've a been, love affair. You've been separated from Patapon 2 for how long now? 758 days. Oh, you have the day like, count. Yeah, well, well, yeah you, was, we've been doing our PS I Love You XOXO every, every Tuesday. YouTube.com so, slash Kind of Funny This is an exciting stream. Very. Because we have the exclusive. That's right. Yeah. Can you tell us about what's I, happening I, right I, now? I'll tell you how I had, like, I'll tell you what. I was over there this morning, press hat on, little press pass, knocking on PlayStation HQ. And I was like, I'm there, it's me, it's IGN, it's GameSpot, I'm pushing all these people out. And I'm like, you gotta give me the exclusive. And Per Schneider from IGN's like, no, give us the exclusive on Pat Oh my god, now give us the exclusive, won't you? Please, can we have some more? And they said, you know what? We're gonna give this exclusive to a real fan of Pat Upon 2, Greg Miller. Because mm. I will again point out, as you all know, as we found out in the games cast with the Metacritic information when we were getting ready to make Metacritic bets, IGN, GameSpot, too cowardly to review Pat Upon Remastered, the original. Wow. The, you know, not the, I reviewed the original games, so that's, it's confusing. But Pat yeah, Upon Remastered, uh -huh. they no, didn't oh, Pat Upon 1 Remastered. Exactly. Gotcha. Now will they, will they make up for this? Only you can decide. Everybody tweet at Dan Stapleton and tweet at Lucy James and demand this is the, yes. the review. And you're willing to review it for sites. I'll review it for every site out there <laughs> for free. I don't care. You know what I mean? It'll be the same review. I'll, maybe I'll move a few paragraphs around. Oh, okay. IGN can just copy my Pat Upon 2 review. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. From, of course, let's just hear now. Now, April 27th, 2009, filed at 2.40 p.m. Wow. Wow, 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 indeed. Now, before you get into it, sure. can I ask what's on, I assume, a lot of people's minds. It's on sure. my mind. What is Patapon? <laughs> First off, everyone knows Patapon. It's embarrassing you don't, but you're young, so I'll allow young. it. 2008, you would have been what? Four? Five? Five and a half. Five and a half. Yes. Uh, Patapon, of course, an adorable uh, PSP franchise that never got the respect it deserved. Never got ported. Uh, n never got its own installment on the Vita. Never got over here. You know. Oh to, wow! Uh, Patapon no. three was also on the on the PSP. Everything there was are PSP. Three games on a PSP. Yeah. Okay. Oh. There's a lot of games on. PSP. I mean, like three. Okay. Like okay. Okay. Like I, digress. Singular no, I digress. Yeah. I don't know. They were all over there, and they're these little rhythm games, right? Again, I was talking about how PlayStation used to be really weird. This mm -hmm. is one of their <laughs> really weird ideas of you are this I or you're. Actually, actually, I'm already misspeaking. Mm. There is an eyeball tribe, right, oh, okay. of, of warriors. You see them here on the screen. Kevin, did they see this yet? Or are they just here? Okay. You see them up there doing their thing, right? And you are their god. And so you command them by banging the sacred drums. Okay. And so you have to hit it in rhythm or whatever in, in sets of four. You do four beats, then there's four beats of response, then you do four beats. And so you through this, you push them forward, you make them fight, you do all this stuff. I mean, I'll play. All right, yeah, let's, let's get into it. So... Oh, sure. So this is Pat Upon 2 Remastered. Now, okay, okay. So to stop, I'll full stop you right there, Kevin. Or right, as you know, Pat Upon 2 Remastered, just like Pat Upon Remastered. Stunning 4K, pushing your PlayStation 4 Pro to the, to the maximum. Max. However, the cutscenes still the original PSP cutscenes, so you remember what it was like, kids, in 2009, all right? PlayStation 4 is just barely holding on right now. <laughs> all Smoke's power. pouring out of the back. Mark yeah. Cerny's like, we didn't design it for this. <laughs> So, Patapon 1 to Patapon 2, as somebody right. who doesn't know anything about this, sure. what's, what are the jumps being made? What, what, what was the leap from Patapon sure, 1 Sure, well, again, if you went to IGN.com and read my reviews, I'm sure most of you did back in the day. I detailed of course. it. You know what I mean? I, it's, it, it's a lot of words I noticed this morning when I was trying to read it, and I was pretty bored myself. Let me read the verdict for you just to explain it, okay? Patapon 2 is more engaging and makes you use all of your classes. It's easier to customize because of the control the evolution tree gives you over your army. It's more transparent thanks to its tip screen and item exchanging minigames. It's more well-rounded because of the multiplayer options. And it's just an all-around awesome game. If someone had only played the first few missions or glanced at some screenshots, I could understand why he or she would write the game off as a clone of Pat Upon 1. But this experience is so much deeper than the original that you really can't fault it for looking like its brother. Fans of the last game should have no apprehension about picking this game up, while noobs should climb aboard and be thankful for the explanations and demos they get this time around. See, that was one of the big things. Mm -hmm. Pat Upon 1, a weird game that really just tossed you off into the deep end. Now, here we go. Exciting, guys. Do I want to name myself or transfer my Pat Upon oh. remastered save data? You know I'm going to transfer my data. Kevin, you remember this? July 31st when we platinumed it. Uh, not to brag either, ladies and gentlemen. Wait. I, of course, I, of course, the first person in the world to platinum Pat Upon. Wow. So no big deal there. You know what I mean? Congratulations. And this is your Pat Upon 1, one save that you're transferring into this game? That's 100% correct. Interesting. That's cool. I like it. Pat upon one. Remastered. Correct. Yes. 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 Well, that's cool. Yes. 
It is very, it, it's very I mean, cool, any actually. any game that allows you to transfer your save from a preview. I remember playing NFL Street Volume 2, and I jumped into the NFL game that came out that same year, and they were like, do you want to transfer your save character, your creative character, from NFL Street Volume 2 into the actual NFL game to play? And it was, it might have been, it might have been NCAA. This is, this is a tangent. But anytime you get to, like, carry over a save, is awesome. It's cool. It is very cool. But now here's the thing. Oh, okay. So these are the sacred symbols being used as, like, drums i like how you did that yeah yeah exactly well yeah it's the drums are are the are the you know your face buttons your sacred symbols as you said gotcha craig's return there you go that's me returning earth end turned out to be unreachable the patapon's long voyage ended as their ship sank to the bottom of the ocean see not even a happy start happy ending from last one we thought we did it we did not hmm. washed up in an unsure alone hatapon exhausts its last ounce of strength to hold the sacred drum almighty leader <laughs> This looks I like pray Star to you. Wars. I beg to you. Please have mercy on this us. This is the Star Wars font. Is it not? No, that seems like a lot. No, it's not. Like from like the opening crawl? No? It's just a different color. You got it. There are four drum beats. You got to read this. Don't get, get oh, lost. Are you trying to thing. pre-order a, right now? I made a Postmates order. It's going to be here any, any second. <laughs> I need cool to be on <laughs> yeah, yeah, were, were you, What were you going to do in the middle of a pie? You're going to get your Postmates order in the I middle of I got to make sure it was here before PS love you so I can so I can. Cool, Greg. Can you take this man's phone so he can focus on Patapon? Or just stand next to him so he can yeah. focus on Patapon? Because at some point, a Postmates oh, right, right. is going to show Actually, up, and it's a huge it, thing it's now. It's 12 minutes away. You can come back in like 12 minutes and check on me. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Can, yeah, boom, I was going to say, you can drop boom, a please boom, in there, too. You know. Boom. The way you kids are raised in Seattle <laughs> nowadays. I see. So here you go. I'm so, I found my hat upon, right? I'm empowering it. I'm telling it to start marching, of course. Well, I'm actually just telling it to pawn right now. I need the pad of drums. Oh. Because I only have one drum. See, here we go. He's giving me the next drum. Then we're on our way. <laughs> what did they teach you in school if you weren't playing pad upon? What were you playing on your PSP? Uh, I didn't own a PSP. <laughs> God damn it. Like, I God, you're so young. Yeah. I, had a, I mean, it wasn't even because I was young. It was because I, I think I had a Game Boy. <laughs> I was one of them kids. I had a Game Boy too. Oh, okay. But I had a Game Boy and I didn't have a PSP. Is the, is the sin though? That is. Oh, definitely had, a sin. One hundred percent. I had a Vita though, so I made up for it. Okay. High five. Yes. Now, the, of course, you could have gotten these as PSP classics. You know, the Vita. I did get. Okay, good. One of them. I forget which one I got as PSP classic, and I pay, played it for like ten minutes, and I was like, this seems cool, and I never went back to it. I had PSP. I had um, Persona 4 Golden. It's so all distracted. I didn't. Right. I, I didn't get to spend all of my efforts and all my focus on what's going on, what's going on on the screen right now. All right, can you, so can you explain what's going on? Not while I play. Okay. No, I'm kidding. So, so like I'm making. The, you have to. See, so you gotta hit it in rhythm. So I'm doing the pat a pat a pat a pawn. So you hear the rhythm and then you, you yep. play it back. Six minutes away. <laughs> so they're calling you Greg because yeah. you're name Greg, right? It's not the main character. <laughs> Correct. God in this world is the name Greg. Cannot, cannot. Yeah. So I see I've proved myself, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to drop the beat here so I can explain more. Yeah, so again, I'm not, you'd think I'm one of the characters. You'd think one of the eyeball people, the Patapons, is Greg. In fact, it is not. It is me, their god, gotcha. looking down on them, banging my drum so they know what to do. Okay. And so right now, I only see if I hold on options, right? It shows you. I only know onward, which, of course, square, 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 circle. What does that translate to, Blessing? I don't know. Pata, pata, pata. Oh. Pong. So gotcha. You, you, you got, you, okay. You, so I have the the square button pata, mm. the circle button palm. So are the triangle and X gonna translate to another? Oh, game? they will, sir. Oh, don't wow. worry about that. Don't you get ahead you of yourself now? You got a lot of game ahead of you. Don't Video me? game progression right there. So, um, Greg, for you, what is the thing that? And I'm, I'm making you talk now. What is the thing that makes this game so special? What oh, makes man. it a nine point five on the old IGN scale? Yeah, exactly. It would be different now, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to do pawn. I don't know. Oh, your food's here. Is that my food? Cool, Greg. Well, he's gonna open the door. Like they know. Like if the door, if somebody calls the door to open the door. 
No, that's not my food. That's me still. Oh, somebody else is just delivering stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, like, what sets Patapon in general, uh, you know, uh, uh, out there into the, you know, Ether is one of the greatest games of all time. Mm. It's just like, it's adorable, number one. It's a fun rhythm game. It's got a story. Like, mm. also, I, I have no rhythm. The fact that I can be the first person in the world to platinum Patapon 1, can I do it with Patapon 2? We'll find out soon enough. Mm. Like, that's something special. It's accessible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's not even, it's, it's really, it's nerdy. It's heady. You're getting deep really? in these things. Yeah. I mean, I, I like what I'm seeing so far, right? Like, I, I, one, I like rhythm games in general. Two, I like cute rhythm games. Three, I like how quirky this is. Like you were saying earlier, this is like weird play, PlayStation, right? This yeah. is when PlayStation was doing, like, going very outside the box. You know, because this, this is PSP. This is, who developed this? Japan Studio. Japan Studio. With Pyramid. Um, so I'm going to cross, oh, I thought I would cross the finish line. I should be able to talk. There, now I'll cross the finish line. So every time, that's how the levels end. You cross that, you successfully completed it, all this stuff pops up. Mm -hmm. Um, I, you know, I picked up Medan there or whatever. She's always there with her thing. She's kind of the spokesperson for the group, talking to me, guiding me as their god, pointing yeah. to me, no big deal. That's not why I like the game, because my ego, don't worry about it. <laughs> but as you, you know, you go through here, you get your stats now. I said it's terrible here. ka the money. That's what you'll be earning, right? Retrieve caps, right? You'll, are the caps for the Patapons who have fallen. So you okay. can get those and then put them into the evolution tree or, you know, um, uh, bury them and then have them grow back as other people. Spoils then, you get uh, crafting materials. So I'm hoping as we get in here, I forget at what point we open up the hub world. And we're only playing the first 30 minutes because, of course, you need to pick this up Thursday, January 30th, 1499 Five dollars less. Five whole dollars less than it was in my day and age. Wow. And with inflation, that's like $150. So this is the cheapest you've ever been able to get Patapon wow. to, and you're getting it in 4K. A deal. So uh, Exactly, right? So we're coming up to our village. All right, so here, here's where we'll start building it out. Now, of course, you are a foolish person didn't play Patapon Remastered. Mm -hmm. But you'll notice, again, like I was talking about in my review, it, if you have played that before and you get into this, you might start thinking, oh, well, this does feel very, you know, samey, right? Same areas, same kind of characters are popping up. But the game does way better at uh, teaching you how to play, uh -huh. giving you clear paths of how to do it. Like the evolution tree, and I don't know if we open it up early on here, this early on. When you go in there, you'll start using it, and it'll show you what you need to make the kind of warriors you want. Because mm -hmm. there's, you know, right now we got the guys walking, and they've got, like, their uh, spears or whatever. But eventually we're going to get guys with arrows. We're going to get uh, people who ride horses and run in there and do this thing. Okay. Get really huge dudes up front that do it. You can have dudes who are, have tubas that shoot out music notes that screw people up. You're burning people. So these are enemies that you're talking no, about? No, these are my guys. Oh, these are, like, are, my, are they the called Patapons? Yeah. Okay. So these are Patapons. It's so. the race of Patapon. Yeah, yeah. And then they each have gotcha. their own little names and, you know, like uh, genius and subclass, right, Kevin? You know what I'm talking about? Remember that? Biology. Remember that, man? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, see, like, this is the world map showing you what missions are available, right? Okay. So, eventually, obviously, this keeps going, and you're able to flow on out and see what's up. Mm -hmm. This is the first one they want you to go hunt. So, we'll go do that, and you'll get some uh, 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 crafting materials, meat and stuff. But here's Crafting these. materials? Because mm -hmm. I got to make better weapons. I got to make armor for my dudes. What, does, what do those allow you to do? <laughs> Be better in, in battle. Because what's going to happen is there's mm -hmm. giant bosses that come out. Okay. And you say you're this little tribe of little eyeball people fighting these crazy monsters who can do all this crazy stuff. So you've got you know your march attack, you've got your attack attack, but then you've mm -hmm. got your retreat attack. You've got these like things you can do to clear effects, uh, you know, like status effects on you. Like there's okay. a whole like science and uh, not dice roll to it, but there is a bit of that I, I feel where it is mm -hmm. like I know this boss is a. Uh, uh, tempo, I know what they're about to do. So when he gives me the tell of like putting his head all the way to the ground and his butt up in the air like a dog about to attack, mm -hmm. I know I should try to you know run away at that point or put up my defenses or whatever. Okay. Because people will put you to sleep and then they'll eat you and kill you that way. Okay. And you don't want that. I'm really curious to see how like like visually what it looks like when things start to to roll down that path. Because... It'll definitely be one of those I'll have to put. Well, obviously, I'm gonna play a lot. But yeah. when I when I come back in tomorrow, probably because yeah. <laughs> I won't sleep tonight, probably I'll show you what more of you know the differences yeah. are. I'm curious because like I've always had the the I guess misconception that it's just straight up just rhythm, right? Like they they do a thing and then you repeat it back and then. Oh that's no like no! no I'm game. telling them what to do. I'm making the calls. Oh. I just have to make it in the iambic pentameter, which is not correct. Gotcha. But the iron you know, of like what, the thing they've set up here. So now we're finally attacking. Bye. This is really catchy, by the way. I feel like if I played this for like 10 hours, yeah. this melody right here would just be rotating in the, in the brain when I go to sleep. I mean, it never I like leaves it. you. 
Does it generally generally keep the same melody, or does it start to switch up later on? Is it? Does it add well, you're or? using these drums. I mean, there's only four drums, right? So it's yeah. like you are doing more and more. Uh, you introduce new drums, but it is always this, you know, four beat thing. Damn, I screwed up. Sorry, I was talking. It's so hard to talk and play. You know yeah. what I mean? But it doesn't matter right now because it's so easy. As you saw earlier, that worm comes out, you know, that snake, and it goes fever. Mm -hmm. That means that when that's when that's active, right? That means I've been hitting it perfect. The beat, uh -huh. and then my attacks give more damage. I move farther on my move commands. I retreat farther on my retreat commands. It like soups up anything you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. That gold there is the kaching uh, that I need to collect. You see, it disappears if I don't get to it in time. You see this sunflower? You might just say, "Hey, bruh, that's a sunflower. Yeah. Cool." No, nah, no. Nah. If I hit it with my spears when I go to attack that other thing, it'll give out more kaching, possibly. Uh, Whoa! Know, things. Yeah, dude. There's a lot that's happening, crazy. guys. <laughs> oh, Kevin. It was, is Cool Ray out there? I think my postmate might be arriving. Their name is Waymond. They're going to be looking for a short black dude. Cool Ray is not that, but <laughs> <laughs> hopefully they give him my food. See, I got that sick one. Oh, I, I got see. that tusk now. Beaver. See, I'm talking while I do it. You understand what I'm Yeah. Doing. Everybody, again, I'm the first person ever to platinum, and I have nothing to prove to you. Be as mean as you want in the comments, all right? See, no. you, did you hear that one? Like, ding, ding. That was yeah. way off. I was way off. Uh, yeah, what okay. do you got? What's the question? No, I was going to say, like, does it being on consoles opposed to PSP, like, do anything for you? Like, do you like playing it on a larger screen, or do you prefer having it? That's a great handheld. question, Bless. You know yeah. what? Uh, I do appreciate having it on this giant screen because it is beautiful. And it's like I was telling you, right? Like, uh, this is my first time, out, even though I, you know, again, first person in the world, Platinum Pat Upon Remaster. No big deal. Uh, even though I, I played at home back with that one, what, two years ago? More than that, actually, now? Yeah, three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have a 4K TV. I didn't have a PlayStation 4 Pro. So I'm excited. Like, even this looks great. So, I mean, I'm just excited to have yeah, this at home. Yeah, this looks sharp. I do miss it on the go. Like I always thought it was a missed opportunity not to have one on the Vita. Mm -hmm. That was pure Vita, right? Like had it on four. Or yeah, like, exactly. Okay. Or just remaster it there, even right? Because mm -hmm. that was the thing. You, we've talked about this on PS. I love you, XOXO. Yeah. We, Peace Walker. So good to be back to Peace Walker. You're right. We're playing Peace Walker, but it was heartbreaking when Peace Walker, you know, came to Vita, but it didn't really come to Vita, right? It was the PSP game on Vita, so there's no trophies. Mm -hmm. But the power of the Vita was the trophies. So now at least I'm getting trophies for Patapon. Yeah, I mean. You bang down the door, PlayStation, and bring this out. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could theoretically, just keep banging on that door, bring it to Vita. That might be a bridge too far. <laughs> I did get this one out of the archives, right? But I, yeah, I forgot. So that was a good point there. I tried to attack the sunflower. Uh -huh. I can't. I have to line it up where there's an enemy there to be able to actually attack it to get the money out of it. Okay. So it's like a bonus strategy thing of getting your guys there. Also, I didn't point out too. Sorry, but there's you know how it was raining when the level started. Mm -hmm. That made it harder for the animals to hear me, so I could get closer oh. to attack. But then it also like you know has stealth elements. And stuff. Exactly. So now I'd have to like attack from further out than really get there. Probably, yeah. Hey, uh, well, I mean, we we said that at the front, right? But, but yeah, this is codes provided by PlayStation. FTC, don't sue us. Better safe than sorry, right, Kev? Of course. <laughs> Chumps. Trust wow. me, they don't, they don't like this. How many hours do you think you played in total of Patapon? In the entire series? In the, in the entire series, yes. That's a question you want to answer to, buddy. <laughs> Hundreds of hours. Really? Yeah, totally. Because, like, I'm going to stop here and lose my fever because it's a good question. Mm -hmm. So in the review I talk about back in the day of, like, oh, you know, 40 hours in and I beat the story. And I, but I say very clearly, like, I also grinded for the best team. Because the idea here is that it is a rhythm RPG where you're building your squad using the troops you like, you know, souping them up, getting them the best material, best uh, armor, best weapons, mm -hmm. which means you have to go out and grind for materials. So you can... Go through and play the whole thing, but eventually there's going to be at some boss or something where you're like, I need to get stronger, and you go grind, mm -hmm. and you p replay the same missions. So I think as much as I loved Patapon 2 and w w whatever embargo I had in 2009 for it or whatever, I did uh, you know, play a bunch of it, but go back and grind, 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 grind. Yeah. And so I kept doing that, I remember, even after the fact. Wow. What, what was your story with the first Patapon? Like, was it a thing where you saw the trailer and you're like, this looks up my alley? And Not at all. Playing it and it was a thing where uh, Podcast Beyond co founder, PlayStation team member Jeff Haynes back in the day, uh, he was reviewing it and they had sent him an extra UMD 
and he put it on my desk, and he's like, "You might like this." And I'm like, "I'm terrible. I have no rhythm. Yeah, I have no rhythm, and I am just. It's, it seems like it might be too. What is it?" And he explained. I'm like, "I don't know at all." And I popped it into my uh, PSP that night, and I just fell in love. I thought it was so cute, so interesting, so engaging. Uh, again, it was another thing in the same way we talk about Peace Walker and how that mission structure works so well. Same thing for Patapon, right? Yeah. Where I'm talking to you and that took me five minutes. And especially when you get souped up and you want to grind, like that'll take you a minute and a half to two minutes. Yeah. And so it is like you have that downtime. This is in the point where I would go out to the bars and I would bring the PSP in my pocket mm -hmm. because I was like, oh, well, there's a bunch of different games to chip away at and do stuff on, you know, and yeah. actually make some progress. The PSP have a lot of those types, types of games, like, yeah. you go, like go in five minutes, go totally. back, build up your whatever you're I mean, that's what up. it was, you know, uh, designed for. Yeah. Why it was such a great handheld. One of my, uh, if I think actually, I think we talked about this before on another show where it's Probably. my favorite, it's my favorite PlayStation platform, PSP. Oh, did we talk about this? Yeah. I don't know if you and I did. I did uh -huh. on some podcast somewhere. PSP, wow. It's just, well, I mean, it was just so perfect for what I, where I was in my life. The, uh, the games that came to it, Pat Upon, Peace Walker, Rock Band Unplugged. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? There was so much stuff that I loved playing on it, and I loved playing on BART, and I loved playing on trains. And yeah. Like, I, we were traveling and doing all these different things. I mean, that's awesome. Got that souped-up battery, had that big old yeah. bad boy popped on the back there. Woo-wee! And what? This is 2000. This is 2009, yeah. Right? And, no. like, you know, PSP was around the time. Well, that was, like, before Smart or, like, iPhones and Androids were that was like right truly, around, yeah, that I remember, truly ubiquitous. Yeah, I remember when Craig Harris got his first iPhone. I was like, this yeah. is the craziest thing of all time. Because, yeah, that was like a golden age of handheld, which like now like the Switch is kind of bringing it back. Um, but, yeah, I, 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 I could imagine having this and having Peace Walker. Like even playing Peace Walker now, I'm like, yeah, this would be great if I could, if I could take it on the go. Yeah. If I wasn't playing it on PS3. And so to have a game like this, I can see why. I can see how it, 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 get, it's get, it would get its claws into you. Totally. And that's what it's all about. Let it get its claws in you, you know what I mean? And so, so what are you yeah. doing here? So we're back at base now. You see it slowly start to expanding, right? So, like, here I have the altar ready to go. To You make your sacrifices. You come in. You do these things. You know, you, you're, you're making your sacrifice to the gods kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, then, yeah, send out uh, mission stuff here. This is just Madan telling me some stuff. You know, here's what's going on. Here's what's happening in the world right now. Eventually, this guy I'll be able to stop at. That's the evolution tree. That'll help me make different characters, mm -hmm. different troops. Uh, if I could go over more, you'd see more of them. Kevin, you remember when we were doing the Platinum stream here, where it's like there's the guy, the big old baby with the big old feet that you play. Oh, like yeah, the, 100%. Yeah. You tap his toes to make a different song. All of that like, sounds familiar. Exactly. And, and he'll give you a rare material or, or a material based on how well you do. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of stuff like that. There's a cooking mini game where the guy is throwing stuff and you've got to slash it in the air and put it in the pot to make a stew. They keep you going. You know what I mean? Like You think you, think you got your head wrapped around it. Let me tell you, bless you don't. I mean, I'm learning a lot right now. Okay, good. This game is way more, it has way more depth than I than I assumed going in. Is it doing it for you? Are you I feel you, like for I Are you I, ready to play? I'm I think so. I, I feel like it's one of those games I'm I'm going to have to get my hands on and kind of dig deep cuz I feel like there's depth there that I'm starting to see where I'm like, oh, "Okay, I might have to spend some time to really uh, to really understand the the, the inner workings of what's going on here but sure. on the base level like i like rhythm games you know the rhythm aspects so far are look pretty fun to me i like the call call callback kind of thing and i love any game with combos building up that combo score is nothing more satisfying especially when you build up a fever <laughs> If you're, if you're an audio listener and you're, you're wondering what's happening right now, right? It's a 2D game. Greg's playing it, or Greg's the god, right? But you're you're sort of controlling these black and white eyeball-looking things. There's a lot of a lot of text effects going on, right? That are telling you like what what you're doing as far as like the paddas and the pawns. Got a combo score up in the left upper left corner. Seems like a pretty good time. See that guy hiding over there? Yeah. He thinks he, I don't see him. I see him. Dude, I didn't see him until he put him out. That's how they try to get you. <laughs> it's happening. First trophy, yeah, trophy. everybody. You Can't saw the first the one. Will you see the last one? We don't know. I'm guessing that's a trophy for uh, having fever for a yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. See, I'm way off beat there, but it's because I'm talking to you and I'm excited about this trophy. Yeah. 
to Earth End. So what are they talking about when they talk about Earth End? Where they think the world ends. They're, they're a simple tribe. You know oh, what I mean? okay. It's like a Horizon Zero Dawn pre prequel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I like to think they're in the same universe for sure. See, this is always the thing is like when you fall off so hard mm -hmm. trying to get back on. Because uh, I was in it. You saw it. I got the fever trophy. Yeah. I'm about it. I'm there doing it. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Which, what do you think you're uh, going to get the platinum in first, this or Peace Walker? This. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, now that this is here, I mean, come on. This is a current game again. You know what I mean? Pat oh, uh, yeah. Peace Walker, I I'm excited to continue trying to get my platinum in, but that's something to take my time with. I'm in no hurry. Mm -hmm. Right now, I got to figure out, do I have it in me? Blessing. Yeah. Do I have the ability inside of me to be the first man ever in the world to platinum, pat upon, remastered, and be the first man in the world to pat upon? Wait, hold on. <laughs> platinum, platinum, pat upon, remastered, <laughs> or pat upon two remastered. Can I get yeah. them both? Can I be the first on both of the games is what I'm saying. You're, so you're gonna you're gonna go for it. Number Hell one. Hell yeah! You kidding me? Wow. Jen's a pat upon widow tonight. I'm just I'm <laughs> dead to her. You know what I mean? The the real problem is I got so much to do in this stupid office. You know what I mean? I'd love to just sit here and play. You I take, see you over there playing GTA. You're just chilling out. Take the week off, man. <laughs> me and Tim got it. Who needs to do PS? I love you. Well, no, we. Me, me and Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, you're hosting. You ready? You ready to talk about PlayStation? <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> But yeah, this is an interesting wrinkle because I think we were having the conversation either last week or the week before about uh, Peace Walker, right? And, and games coming out, and you know, I think the I think I think at that point, like the next big game we first saw was Dreams. Yeah. You know, I didn't I didn't see this game coming out of, coming out of nowhere. In, in, uh, Who did derailing <laughs> that platinum? So out of all games, what do you think made PlayStation bring back this one? Was it Greg Miller, or do you think there's something they see in Padawan? Sorry, I'm against the wall. I gotta oh yeah, no, I gotta, go, I gotta, go I gotta, for I it. I finish the wall. No, live your truth. Get I think it. it's, I mean, it's multifaceted, right? I think I'm losing it. It's fine. Um, I think it is the idea that it's weird, and it's a callback, and it does have that following, right? That, uh, you know, we talked about it last week, and we're about to see spoilers on PS I Love You XOXO, available mm -hmm. on YouTube.com, slash Kind of Funny Games, and podcast services around the globe. In a second, talk about the fact that, right, PlayStation has that brand loyalty, right? That survey mm -hmm. that came out. And so there's something to that, that there are so many games that matter to different people that define PlayStation to different people. Mm -hmm. And I think as we saw with Medieval coming back, right, the success of Crash coming back, like... Why not continue to tap into that? And PlayStation's been around long enough that they're that people have nostalgia yeah. for their things. And like for something not that I'm saying this is easy, but something we hadn't seen in so long. And I'm not even Pat Upon Two, right? Pat Upon One Remaster. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that they were able to find an audience with that, and I imagine it was pretty easy, even though we you know, we always talk about it. We don't make games. Yeah. To get in there and make it happen and have it come over, why not? Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, and I'm sure there's like a certain amount of effort that it takes to even bring this game from oh, totally. PSP to PS4, 4K up res, right? And so, yeah. you know, that amount of effort for a game as obscure but still like beloved by people like Greg Miller, like this, I think is pretty, it's pretty cool. Let's see, Kevin, how long have we been live? I'm curious. 28. Okay. So we got like two more minutes we can do. You want to see these these two remaining minutes? New dr new drum. Oh, new drum. Oh wait, new song, new song, new, new song. song. Okay. Nah, screwed up. I got too excited. <laughs> yeah. Part of me wants to imagine Pat Upon Four comes out with like actual voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like um, I want to say Christopher Nolan, Nolan North, <laughs> and Christopher <laughs> Nolan. Christopher Nolan, the the team up you've been waiting for. <laughs> See you later, Mighty Greg. And I feel like that's a good that's a good period at the end yeah, of this, totally. this sentence. That is this as my journey point. begins. You yeah, know as I mean? your journey begins, ladies and gentlemen. This has been kind of funny. First impressions. We just got done. First impressing. 
of Patapon 2 Remastered on the PS4. Of course, I've been blessing. That's been Greg. Of course, thank you, PlayStation, for providing this game for us to get that exclusive stream, that exclusive video. Of course, you can you can keep up with first impressions on twitch.tv slash kind of funny games live, or you can watch it later on youtube.com slash kind of funny games and all that good stuff. Until next time. It's been our pleasure you're to talk about you. PlayStation or the PSL of you. Oh, yeah, and we're doing PSL of you XOXO right after this. And so, if you're. Where can they get that? Uh, if you're a patron, you can get it on patreon.com slash kind of funny games at the silver level. Uh, or you can get it on Tuesday mornings on any podcast service around the globe. Hell yeah. Yeah. Mission complete. We did it. Pat we did it. everybody. Thank you. I want to thank everybody who made this happen. You know, a lot of people wanted to laugh at me when we hit day 730, but you guys didn't laugh at me. You supported us. You watched the podcast. You tweeted at Shuhei. You tweeted at Herman. You tweeted at Corey. I'm proud of all of you. I saw you this morning. Every site writing about this mentioning Greg Miller. Everybody in the comments mentioning Greg Miller. Oh, mostly yeah. Mostly in positive fashion. I appreciate that. <laughs> mostly. We have made it happen. All right? Now I say we look past Pat Upon 3. We don't need a remaster of that. We look to Pat Upon PS5. Pat Upon 4? It doesn't... See, I think... It doesn't sound right to you? I, I, I feel like they just need to skip four and go straight to five. Five. Oh, wow. If it's, it's PS5, Pat yeah, upon P5, five. P5, yeah. Yeah, you know what no, I mean? No, I'm with you. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs>